Hey guys, I'm Stephanie and this is Steph So. And today I wanted to show you how to turn a bounty into something you can freeze very easily. Um, I was gifted just yesterday, as a matter of fact, with a dozen fresh ears of corn. My daughter had given, this, given these to me when I went up and visited her. But um, I don't know about you, my husband and I can't eat 12 ears of corn, especially fresh corn, that quickly. And I certainly don't want it to go bad. So I'm going to show you, if you have this opportunity or if you come across these at the store, the best way to freeze these for later. This is going to be a simple method that you are going to absolutely fall in love with and it's so easy. So let me show you how to put up this wonderful fresh corn on the cob. Here we go guys. Alrighty, if you're ever blessed like I was to get this fresh corn, don't say, oh I can't eat it. No thank you. Take it and then put it in the freezer because you can pull it out cook it just like fresh and it will be oh so good. So the easiest way, um, the corn comes obviously in the shuck right here. And so the, sh the outer ones are gonna be a little drier. So what I want you to do is I'm gonna pull off several, not all of them, of the drier ones. And as you can see, the inner one is nice and light green. So this is where I want you to stop. So I'm gonna do the rest of them real quick and I'll be right back. All right, now I've got all of these shucks pulled down to the lightest ear. And notice I did not take the husk off and I did not take these all the way down because as we freeze these, these husks are gonna help to protect them. And if you're wondering what kind of corn this is, this is a light color. This is gonna be some silver queen corn. It's gonna be really good, really good. So the next thing that we want to do, and I have 12 ears in here, I'm going to, let me move some of these around. We have all these little hair people around. Move you around. Move you down here so you can see me. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a super sharp knife and I'm going to come and I'm going to cut the end of my corn right here because I want this part off. So see, I've just got a cut end and I'm gonna come to the other end. You can pop this off really hard and I want all of them just like this. So I'm gonna run through and I'm gonna cut each of the remaining. I'm gonna cut the tops. Now some of these, if I can't cut, like this one just had a little nub, I'm gonna have to work down to get that off because I want that completely off. Let me do the rest of them. Top. Ooh, some of these have these little nubs on them. They're a little harder to get off. There's two. You may have to go round and round. Get those off. That one didn't come off near as pretty. I think I can pop this one. Yeah, that one's long enough. I can pop him off. All right, and so now I have four ears with the ends off and the little tails. So what I'm going to do, I've got me a gallon size freezer bag and notice you always should date it because again, things get lost in your freezer and you really can't remember when you put it up. So just put June, 2023 and this is corn. So this is fresh corn. So I'm just gonna put these in here, side to side like this. Lay them down flat and Seal them up. Make sure to try to press all of the air out. There you go. You can put it in the freezer. Now, I'm gonna get this together. So, because I have 12, I should get a couple more packages out of this. So I'm gonna get the others up and we'll be right back. I'm Stephanie, this has been Steph Stover. Today, I showed you how very quick and very easily how to put up an extra bounty of corn. Now I got a dozen ears, so I did get three packages of four. And when you're doing this, remember you're always gonna take the shucks down to the brightest green, cut off the tops, break the ends off, and then place these in a freezer bag labeled. When you get ready to cook these, just take these out of the freezer, you don't have to let them defrost. Go ahead and take the shucks off and the silks will just fall off very easily. 
And then just pop these in some boiling water for about five, maybe six, seven minutes, not very long at all. And they'll be just like the day that you received them. Perfect, fresh corn on the cob, straight out of your freezer. So remember, I'm Stephanie, this has been Steph's Day. Give us a thumbs up, click that subscribe button for more great content like this. And remember, Steph's Day, we're making memories one dish at a time. Thanks for watching. Good night.